I grew up in Desert Hot Springs, and my family, when we first came here, was because my dad ended up getting a job as a grocery store worker. Shortly after that, my mom was a, a victim of a violent gun accident. Because of that, we were <laughs> in a witness protection a lot of the time. Unfortunately, my father suffered from mental illness, and he killed himself in our backyard, which resulted in us being rewards of the state for 16 months. Um, my mom did what she needed to do and got us back, and, and unfortunately, we had an abusive stepfather who made our lives even worse. From that point, we became homeless. Going to school was the first normalcy. All the while, my teachers were those in-place fathers and mothers. They gave me purpose. They let me feel like I could be successful, no matter the turmoil that was happening at home. As a teacher myself, I look for those things in my students. I put myself on the front lines to make sure that they have the things that they need because I want them to be successful. And in turn, they're gonna pass it forward and make the world a little bit of a better place. He strives to learn every single student by name. He goes beyond that, but getting to know what drives them, what their personal interests are, and get, getting sharing little anecdotes about his own life with his students to make them feel welcome, to make them feel that they are valid members of our school learning community. My mom lives in Pennsylvania, but we lost connection. And so Dr. McDaniel really helps me through that because he assures me that it's okay if, if my dad's a single parent, it's okay, and that I have other people. If I ever need help, I have him. Music saved my life. Music was the one place that I felt that I could mostly be myself. Music is my overarching theme that has given me everything. His band regiment, which does have about 250 students, is a huge impact on this school. The regiment is what we call a musical family. All of our kids protect one another. Um, it's a safety net. The regiment teaches them to be good kids, you know, in all their classes. They're striving to be good at home. I've seen a change in them at home. They're responsible. They're doing their chores. I have a lot of kids come to me for, like, if they're alone or if they need someone, I am always there for them. For our second lunch, I get to be out supervising children in the lunch area. And I remember approaching a table. I asked them how lunch was going, and they would say, well, Dr. McDaniel spent lunch time with us today. And I remember saying, so why is Dr. McDaniel such an amazing teacher? You guys just love him so much. And the student turned to me and he said, because he is always there and she just pointed and he was sitting right there and I couldn't even see him and I, I just kind of looked down and he turned and looked up at me. He's given up his own lunch time to sit with students and to talk with them and to mentor them during that time. You know I never had another teacher that was like Dr. McDaniel but as an aspiring teacher you know that you know I being a teacher isn't just isn't just this one way of, of being you know and and there's all these ways that you can go above and beyond as, as a teacher. And I think I learned a lot of that from just seeing Dr. McDaniel. He's beyond all expectations, just like he says. He makes sure that you know that excellence is not an accident. A student who I connected with as a student named Edgar, and I saw a lot of myself in him, and I pushed him and I helped him along the way. And he just graduated from Georgetown, and he has a beautiful, successful life. We're changing hearts one person at a time and growing to make Desert Hot Springs the greatest city in the world.